What's up guys, this is Tim here with the Dick Burger family and today we're going to be playing Cry of Fear Out of It which is another add-on campaign for Cry of Fear, you can download it with the 1.4 update I believe but instead of it being a community collab it's made by WNUK2380 and it's just made entirely by this guy so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Fortunately because I've played Cry of Fear before I don't need to adjust the options so I'm quite happy about that. Right, so this is chapter one, a bad trip. Basically, I believe the storyline of this game is you've took a shit ton of drugs and now you're tripping balls. So, yep. Uh, I've just woke up, so I'm not going to be like on my top let's play form. So, fuck it. I just really want to play this. So. Okay. Some kind of train station. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Alright. I'll go into this door. No, 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 no. Someone fucked this door up. Well, I guess that's one way you can explain why the door won't open. Did somebody fuck this door up? No, they didn't. But yeah, this campaign's made entirely by one guy, and I think it's one of the first campaigns to include a completely new character model, so that's pretty cool. It adds like a nice little spin onto it, and you're not just playing a Simon this time. Stairs. There's a hammer, but I'm I'm gonna go back out because I am gonna look around first and see if there is anything down here. There's a corridor. No, 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 no. I'm alright. Okay. There, there's a toolbox. The maintenance door is locked. I can hear something moving on the other side. Can I perhaps go through the elevator? And I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm gonna try it. No. I'm alright. And I'm not actually just making these sounds for this um, for the video. These are seriously the sounds I actually make when I'm playing this game, even on my own. I don't care. This game's scary. Can I have your hammer, please? Jesus Christ, you must have hammered your own face, and it's like those Miami zombie attacks all over again. What's down here? Something kind of dot. The door handle is broken. Somebody fucked that door handle up. Maintenance door key and a switchblade. So I guess that man out there is going to be back alive. I'm going to quick slot my weapons because I forgot to do that last time. This man is going to be alive. I am ready for you, man. Come on, where are you? Where are you? He has disappeared. Oh, there you are! Jesus Christ, you are, you are quite the tall man. And you appear to have fixed your face. That sure didn't take a long time. There we have it. I think the maintenance door is through here. Yes, it is. Yeah, so that's a pretty neat spin, including the new character model, so you're not just playing a Simon. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the first campaign to include a new character model, but I haven't played them all, so I, I'm not sure. What's through here? I'll go through this door first. Right, I'm gonna be an asshole again. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't see you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let, let me out, let me out. She's dead. But yeah, I'm one of those players that, uh, if they find a door to open, they have to go through it and check every other door in the area before they go through it, so you're gonna have to bear with me for a second. Okay, the basement door's locked. I'm guessing I have to go and get a key. 
Hello? If you want to come out, can you please just unlock the door? That would be the logical thing to do if you want to leave your apartment. This place looks just like my apartment, and here is a save point. Well, now. I will save it here and use the second slot and leave the first slot for my memories campaign. Right, there we go. There is a TV here. What are we watching? We are watching a static screen of what appears to be a man's face. Oh, wow, that's quite the high res picture. It's locked. Okay. That's also locked. Okay. Okay. Whoa, there is there is a ghost running through the hallway. Oh my Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hello, mom. Hello, mom. Please pick up. Where is the phone? Excuse me, where is the phone? I cannot see the phone. How do I pick up my phone? Do I use it? I think I do. There we go. It sounds like I've got a call from somebody orgasming. I certainly do hope that was not my mum. That would be awfully awkward. My god, you sick fuck. Oh, there is a naked woman up here. Maybe this is the person that sent me the phone call. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? Oh, and there are some. There's once again a big hand reaching down for me. I'm gonna go right ahead and go towards the teeth. Whoa! There is another face over here. Oh! Oh man, I knew that was gonna happen. You prick! Whoa! What's this? Maybe this is the woman that sent me the call. Die! You're made of metal. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I don't want to look down. Wow, that was fucking easy. Excuse me, I'm going to have to ask you to stand still, sir. I am with the police department. If you do not stand still, I will be forced to shoot you in the head. As I can see, you have some fatal injuries. I can call the NHS if you wish. I'm sorry. Oh my god. That's attacking a police officer, that is an offense. Right. I knew that face was gonna pop up the moment I fell down there, but my god damn it did it scare me. Once again there is a picture of the gorillas, the they seem to be fans of this game, and for some reason my quick select is completely fucked up. So I will have to do that again. Right, so I've got to find a save point quickly. They're both locked. There must be a save point in here. That's a magazine. There is a big TV, or a big TV, big PC screen. Kind of resembles mine. Said that before, I'll say it again. Oh, there we go. Good old crouch jumping. It's locked as well. My god, am I, am I scared right now? Oh my god. Is this... What kind of meat is this? I do not know, but there is a key. And it's the key for the back door. I do not know where the back door is. But I'm gonna go ahead and find it. Is this the back door? Yes, it is. Wow, that was quite easy. Okay. What the hell is that? It's some kind of table broken in half. And there's a save point. Uh, I'm gonna go and look around before I go to the save point. Because this video isn't even over 10 minutes long yet, so... Yeah. Right, there's absolutely nothing in there. Uh, there is a saw there. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Ah, oh, well, hopefully there's another save point soon. Kind of gambling a bit here, but, yep. In fact, I'm just going to kill these enemies out here. These bed monsters, and then I will go back and save it. Uh, hello, I'm with the police. Could you please come down from that bed, sir? 
I would say that's disturbing the peace and that is a felony. Whoa. My god, you do move quite fast. You must be on some kind of drugs. And that is also a felony. Gonna have to ask you to hand your bed over and come with me down to the station. Can't go through there. There is a picture of a football player holding another man's penis. That's it's quite the picture. If I owned a shop, I would certainly put that picture in my window. Yeah, that's a good old sportsmanship demonstration right there. If you if you're losing, you just hold the other man's penis. I'm gonna go back and save it in a second because the stream is over ten. Well, the video. I keep saying stream. Yeah, for people that uh, are like, what the fuck? Why does he keep saying that? It's because I stream it through live stream because it gives me like some big ass screen and. I find it easier to record through that because Fraps really messes up all my uh just it messes up my PC and it makes it go really slow. So I usually record through live stream, so all of this shit's all live at the moment, and then I upload it to YouTube when it's over ten minutes. So yeah, for the people that asked in the last video. Right, well I'm gonna go back and I am gonna save it and then yep, that's the end of part one. Right, there we go, that's part one of my out of it playthrough. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. This game's, this uh, add-on campaign's pretty good at the moment. It's, I don't know, it's pretty sweet for being made by one man. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, comment, rate, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Yep, I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.